Hi everyone, I'm Sophie and welcome to my channel, Sophie Labors Yoga. Today's class is a yoga flow that's suitable for all levels and particularly good if you're new to yoga. We'll warm up, then come through a vinyasa flow and some standing balances focusing on solid alignment and then come back down to the mat for some flexibility work. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and press notifications so you don't miss the two practices that come out every week. And then when you're ready, let's start in child's pose at the back of the mat. Just melt the heart down between the knees, reach the fingers long along the mat and just settle in here. Just taking a few breaths in your own time, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Inhaling deeply, exhaling fully. Just one more breath there. Letting the world outside fade away and coming present on the mat. Then gently just walking the hands back towards the knees. Bring the knees into parallel with the hips. Find length through the spine. And then we'll just start with the neck stretch. Take the left hand behind to the right elbow. Drop the ear towards the shoulder. And just feel any tension through the muscles in the neck, the shoulder. Really relax away. And then turn the gaze towards that right shoulder. Tuck the chin in towards the chest and feel a stretch through the back of the neck. Let's stay with the breath throughout the entire class. and then we'll swap sides. Right hand takes the left, drop the ear towards the shoulder, really try and open through this right shoulder so you get a bit more of a stretch down through the neck. And then turn the gaze towards the mat, tuck the chin in, just a gentle stretch through the back of the neck. And then let's take some more upper body uh, mobility work. So just roll that right shoulder down, taking a shoulder stretch here. And then reach it around, tricep stretch. Take the back of the elbow, open through the chest, really feel that stretch through the back of the arm. If you work at a desk, this is really good to do lots of opening through the upper body so we don't become round shouldered. And then let's take the other side. Arm comes across, drop the shoulder. Find that stretch through the shoulder. Reach the arm around, tricep stretch. Take the back of the elbow, open through the chest. Deep breaths. And then from there, bring the hands down, find your tabletop. We'll just take cat and cow. So for cat and cow, fingers are spread nice and wide. Check that the wrists are directly under the shoulders, knees are under hips. We're really going to focus in on alignment in our class today. Inhale to start, exhale, round through the back of the body, come to cat. And then as you inhale, Bring the chest through, open through the shoulders. Find that stretch through the spine. Three more, round through the back of the body, articulating through the whole spine. Inhale, come to cow. Two more, exhale, scoot through the belly, come to cat, and come the other way. Really starting to feel into our body, coming into our body out of the mind into the body and the breath. Coming through, then find your neutral spine once again. We're going to take bird dog crunch. So reach the right arm out, thumb facing up, reach the left leg out, 
And then from here, scooping in through the belly, crunch in. Let's just take four each side. That's three. Inhale as you extend. Exhale as you draw in. Last one. Come long, place the hand down, place the knee down, other side. Left arm comes out, thumb facing up, core is drawing in. Keep the shoulders and hips nice and square to the mat. Exhale, scoop in, inhale, come long. Exhale and inhale. Two more. Really bring your mind into your core. Feel it really switching on, firing up for the start of class. Bring the hand down, bring the knee down. We're building on from there. So coming out, scooping in, coming out, and then a heart opener. So reach the fingertips towards the toes. Come long, three more. Reach long, open through the chest. Contract through the hamstring. Come long, two more. Last one. Getting nice and strong through our core and through the back of our body. Other side, let's go. Reaching long, you know where to go. Scooping in, reaching out. Opening through the heart, reaching for the toes. Come long. Three more. One more to go. Come long, lower down. Well done. All right, just a bit of mobility for the hips. Bring the right leg through. Take it nice and wide. And then from here, it's like your, the top of your uh, thigh bone. It's just stirring in the pot. So going around, really warming up all the muscles around the hip, uh, the tendons, the ligaments. So we'll take four one way. Nice and juicy all the way around and then back the other way. Right to the front of the hip, to the side, pulling back and the other side. That's it. Leg comes back, left leg comes forward, move the hands over a little and then stirring the pot the other way on the other side. Front of the hip, through the hip flexor muscles, through the side and back. Last one that way. And then around the other way. Nice and juicy. All right, from there, bring the foot back downward facing dog. We will press the hands into the mat, fingers spread nice and wide, tuck the toes under, knees come off, push the mat away through the hands, heels down towards the earth. Deep breath there. And then just pedal through the feet, just stretching through the backs of the legs, slowly or quickly, whatever feels right for your body today. And it's different every day. All right, come up on the balls of the feet, then reach the heels down towards the earth. Inhale, exhale, releasing anything that doesn't serve you. Coming nice and present, nice and clear in this moment. Let's have a wonderful class. Walk the feet towards the hands. Feet are hip width apart, hanging forward in ragdoll, chest towards the thighs, arms long or take the backs of the elbows. And maybe just take a gentle rock side to side, relax through the head, let any thoughts that are still there just tumble down towards the earth. 
And then from there, just a little bit of a sideways movement through the pelvis. Let's bend the left leg, stretch the right arm high, and then wrap it behind you. Open through the right shoulder. You can always bring the hand to the thigh if that's a little better for you. Just feeling a stretch through the side of the hip. Reach the arm high, lower it down, other side. Bending the right leg, stretching the left arm long, wrapping it behind you, open through that shoulder. Once again, bringing the hand a little higher if that works better for you. Whatever your body needs. Then bring the hand down, rolling up to standing vertebra by vertebra, nice and slowly. And then just set the feet, either hip width apart or toe heel them a little closer. Press down through all four corners of the feet, outside the big toe, outside the little toe, the inner and the outer heel. Draw the core in, let's pull the thigh muscles up, so pull the kneecaps up, open across the chest, press up through the crown of the head, bring the hands to prayer at heart center, and now let's flow, lifting the arms, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bow to the earth, bend the knees as much as you need here. Halfway lift, find a nice flat back. Then from there, hands come down, we're stepping straight to downward facing dog today. From here, roll through the spine, come to plank. Let's come down to knees first of all, three breaths here. Inhale, draw your core in. Exhale, can you open across the shoulders a little more? Inhale and exhale, staying nice and strong. Inhale and then on the exhale, let's lower down all the way to the mat. Elbows drawing in, roll those triceps back. Lift just through the upper back, keep the neck long. Pulling back, downward facing dog. From here, right leg comes high. We're coming to scorpion, bend the top knee, Open that hip, but keep the chest and shoulders square to the mat. Then from there, lengthen the leg out. Draw the knee in. Come through to a low lunge. And then come up a little higher to a high lunge. Lift the arms high. Baby back bend here. Fingertips come together. Lower down. Tuck the back toes under. Draw the foot in. Roll up to standing. Let's take the other side. Let's bring in the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Folding forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Hands come down. You can step or jump this time straight to downward facing dog. From here, roll through the spine. Knees or toes. Two breaths this time. Inhale. Draw the core in. Exhale, push the mat away through the hands. Inhale, staying strong. Now this time, lowering all the way down. Cobra, or if you're ready, upward facing dog. Pull back, downward facing dog. We lift the left leg this time. Lift it high. Bend the top knee, open through the hip. Keep the shoulders and chest square to the mat. Extend the leg long. Draw the knee through, low lunge. Keep those hips nice and square. Lifting to a high lunge, baby back bend. Just that beautiful feeling of uplift here. Hands come down, tuck the toes under, bring the foot in, roll up through the spine once more each time. Let's see if we can make our movements just a little bigger this time. Reaching high, folding forward. Halfway lift. Step or jump back, downward facing dog. Roll through to plank. Just one breath here. Inhale, exhale, lowering down, building upper body strength. Cobra or upward facing dog. Pull back, downward facing dog. Lifting the right leg, inhale. Exhale, open the hip. Inhale, extend. Draw the leg through. Low lunge. Come to your high lunge. Baby back bend. Lower down. Tuck the toes. 
forward fold. Let's hang for a moment in forward fold. Can you find a little more length through the hamstrings? One breath there. Exhale, bend the knees, rolling up to standing. Last time, lift, reach as high as you can, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands come down, step or jump, downward facing dog. Roll through, high plank. Come through your low plank. Triceps wrapping back. Cobra or upward facing dog. Pull back, downward facing dog. Lifting the left leg, inhale. Open the knee, bend the knee. Open the hip, chest and shoulders square. Lifting the left leg high. Draw the knee through. Low lunge. Let's inhale here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Find your forward fold. Let's take one breath here again. Finding a little, little more length in those hamstrings. That's it. Then from there, stay hip width apart or feet can come together. Drop your butt down. Intense pose. Lifting the arms like you're sitting into a chair. Three breaths here. Nice and strong. Let's build some heat. Build some strength. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Can you feel the electricity right through the arms and out through the fingertips? Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Jump back or step back. Downward facing dog. From here, right leg comes through. Find your warrior one. Feet a hip width apart. Square off this back hip. Bring it forward so the hips are square. Come lower in the legs. Then from there, come to your warrior two, facing me. Stay nice and low in these legs. Let's reverse our warrior. Outer strength and inner strength. From here, come back, and then we're coming to triangle. Lengthen through the front leg, drop the hip, reach the fingers, rotate the arms. Gaze is to the mat, to the front, or high. Let's take two breaths here. That's it. Come to your lunge. Plank, chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog. Pull back, downward facing dog. Left leg comes through. Plant the back, outside edge of the back foot down. Lift the arms. Warrior one, nice and fierce, nice and strong. Warrior two, turning away from me. Reverse warrior. Back to your warrior two. Settle in there. Can you come a little lower in the legs? Then extend the leg, reach the arm, drop the hip and rotate the arms. Two breaths. It's like you're between two panes of glass here. So not coming forward, keep that top shoulder back. Hand comes down through plank. Cobra or upward facing dog, pull back downward facing dog. Let's step or jump the feet through, halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Just one breath here, sink the butt low, lift the arms. Inhale, and exhale, bow to the earth. Let's take that sequence once again. Downward facing dog, breath and movement pairing together this time. Foot comes through. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, back to warrior two. Find your triangle. Reach, rotate the arms. Two breaths here. Stay strong. Really working through the center. Hand comes down. Through Chaturanga, remember, come down to your knees if you need. Pull back, downward facing dog. Exhale. Bring the left leg through. Plant the right foot down. Inhale, lift the arms. Feeling strong here. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, 
Warrior two, triangle, reach, rotate, two breaths. Find your focus. Working through the glutes, the external rotator muscles. Hand comes down, plank all the way through. Cobra or upward facing dog, pull back, downward facing dog. One breath here, inhale, exhale, walk the feet towards the hands. Roll up to standing. We're going to take, have a little, uh, have some water if you need. We're going to take some standing balances. So we'll take tree pose to start. For tree pose, let's press strongly, firmly into the left leg. Right foot either at a kickstand, the lower leg, or press it into the thigh. Then from here, set your gaze in front of you. Link the fingers, press them high. Find length all the way from the hands, all the way down to the left foot, rooting you into the earth. Three breaths. If it's for you, you can always challenge yourself by lifting your gaze towards the hands. And then when you're ready, let's lower down nice and steadily rather than collapsing down. Other side, right foot pressing into the earth. Foot at a kickstand, the lower leg, or pressing into the thigh. You've got that uh, working leg pressing into the thigh, the supporting leg pressing back. Link the fingers, press them high, open through the chest. Find that sense of focus, yet calm. Like you're strong amidst any storm. Lift the gaze nice and high. If that's for you, you don't have to, of course. And then coming out of it. One more balance, eagle pose. Give the legs a little bit of a bend and a stretch if you need. Then right foot comes across, either the toe down or just cross it at the knee with the toe lifted. Link it once at the knee or twice at the ankle. We've got the right leg lifted, so right arm comes underneath. Link once here or twice at the wrists. Settle in, three breaths. I'm getting warm, I hope you are too. We came to work today. Can you try and square off the hips so they're equal towards your front? Then from there, lift the arm, lift the knee, come to stalk. Lower it down, other side, pressing strongly into the right foot, cross the knee over. You can lift the toe off, and you can circle it around the ankle. From there, left arm comes underneath. Link once at the elbows or twice at the wrists. Settle in. And once again, can you think of drawing the hip of the lifted leg back so the hips are equal towards your front? Find that focus. Building focus, not just for yoga, but for life. Then lifting the arms, lift to stalk, lower down. Beautiful. Let's come to a little bit of core work. Coming down to the mat, we'll keep things fairly simple today. We're just going to take some roll-ups. So from here, draw the feet in a little, not, not too close, and have them about hip width apart. Reach the arms overhead, inhale, exhale, coming up. Lower back, uh, sorry, upper back, mid back, lower back. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll down. We've got seven more. Inhale, exhale. Can you keep this movement nice and smooth? So no jerking to lift up or jerking too much to come down. Let's keep it nice and smooth. Keep that core working the whole time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, all the way down. We're halfway. Really connect your mind into your core.
Just two more. Last one. This is our medicine, it's good for us. And then let's come all the way up. A bit of a boat pose variation today. Fingertips facing towards the toes, open through the chest. Come up on the toes here, draw in through the core, just lifting the right leg, doesn't matter if it's straight or bent. Lower down, other side. Left, lower down. Right and left. Now stay with the hands where they are or bring them forward and we'll just take the right and the left and just once again, right and left. Very nice. Rolling over. Just one exercise for a little bit of extra upper body strength. Come to your downward facing dog position. And then from here, we're going to lower down as if we're coming to dolphin pose. So we'll take three dolphin press ups. So just bring the elbows down a little, pressing up. If you can come all the way down, please do. But if you can't, that's absolutely fine. It's all about working the triceps. We take three, then just push back through the knees, coming up. Let's take that two more times. Three, two, and one, pressing back. If you can really wrap those triceps in as we take this movement, we really want to work through the back of the arms. Two, and one, drop all the way down. Come to your child's pose. Excellent work, everyone. Let's start to come down into a little more flexibility work. Facing me, butterfly position. Soles of the feet together, knees nice and wide. You can always sit up on a block if that's better for you. From here, let's just come forward, bring the chest towards the feet. Feel that stretch, maybe through the outer th hips and in the inner thighs. Deep breaths. That's it, coming up. Then from there, just take the right arm out. Feel a lovely stretch from the fingertips right across through the chest. Hand comes down, taking the left arm out, sitting up nice and tall. Enjoy that open twist. And then from there, let's come to half pigeon. Right foot forward. You can have the back leg bent or long. And always remember, you can draw the heel in towards your butt so it's not as much pressure on the knee. Lifting nice and tall, fold on forward. Enjoy the stretch, come inward. Just observing the sensations in the body, the breathing, the heart rate, the temperature. In yoga, we call this pratyahara, sense withdrawal from the outside world. And then walk the hands up, turn to face me. Just come for a stretch for the inner thighs. Sit bones anchoring you to the mat, then fold on forward. Just taking this time for you and your body. Enjoying this space. Let's take a side bend, hand next to the calf, reach the right arm high, inhale, exhale, reach those fingertips over. And can you think of these fingertips, the right fingertips reaching long while the left sit bone 
is, uh, sorry, while the right sit bone is anchoring to the mat. So it's like they're reaching away from each other. Giving you a beautiful side stretch. All right, from there, hamstring stretch. Janusharasana. Square off the hips here, reach the arms high. Let's flex the foot today and then come on forward. Bending through this leg as much as you need. Whatever your hamstrings need. And we'll hold each stretch for about five slow breaths to really allow the muscles to relax. And then walk the hands up. Let's take the other side. Left leg in front, bending or keeping the leg straight. Square off the hips, lifting through the chest, then fold on forward. Relaxing through the shoulders, through the neck, just really focusing the effort in the stretch. And then pressing up, turning to face me, inner thigh. Anchoring both sit bones to the mat, then fold on forward. Really sending the breath down through the whole body, making sure we're not tensing up or forcing anything. And let's take our side bend. Hand comes down, reaching the arm high. Inhale, it's like I'm pulling your fingertips over to the wall. I've had people contacting me or commenting and letting me know they've been getting improvements. I always love to hear that. It's, it really makes me happy that you're getting benefit from these classes. And then from there, let's come to our hamstring stretch. Let's square off these hips, lift the arm, flex the foot today, come on forward. That's what I like to hear as a yoga teacher. So you're feeling stronger and it's supporting you to live better as well. And then from there, pressing up, let's come and lay down on the mat. Let's come just to a reclined pigeon. Right foot across the thigh, open the knee, take the back of the thigh or the top of the shin. We've already done our half pigeon, so you should feel a little open, more open here. Be able to get that knee back a little more. And then from there, place the back foot, uh, bottom foot down. Let's come to uh, fire log position. Flex the foot either on top of the thigh or on the calf. And then let this knee drop open. It might not open too far, that's okay. But hopefully you feel a beautiful stretch through the front of the hips. This is our tensor fascia latte muscle, the, the pocket muscle. So it's like when you put your hands in your pockets. Relax there. And then let's take a twist. We'll just turn the right leg, bring the knees and the ankles together, take the arms wide, turn the head if it feels good.
They say you're only as young as your spine is healthy, so let's keep our spines lovely and healthy. And then coming back through center, taking the left leg across, flex the foot reaching through, and once again, hopefully you can find a little more openness, things as we've already done our half pigeon. No tension through the chest and neck. And then fire log. Taking the, the underneath foot out, dropping this hip open, flex the foot to protect the knee. And then feel that beautiful stretch through the front of the hips. It feels lovely for me. I hope it does for you too. And now let's come into our twist. Knees together, ankles together, turning towards the right, arms come wide, turn the head over to the left. Find that corkscrewing skin sensation through the spine. And then let's finish off by coming to our happy baby. Hands behind the knees, take the lower legs or maybe piece fingers to the big toes, draw the knees down towards the armpits and then keep this lovely and relaxed, just like a little blissful, happy baby. Deep breaths. Expanding through the rib cage, filling up the lungs, and then exhaling fully. And then let's take a moment in Shavasana. Stretching the legs long, toes dropping outwards, rest the hands just on the edges of the mat so the lungs have plenty of space to breathe. Get comfortable. And then once you've found that outer stillness of the body, can you find that inner stillness? And here, let's just take those full body breaths. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully, letting go. Inhaling fully. Exhaling all the way. Please give yourselves a few moments more in Shavasana today. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed today's class and I will see you again soon. Namaste. Thank you for practicing yoga with me. Remember to subscribe, like this video and leave me a comment and please share it with your friends so we can continue to spread the positive energy through yoga.